Starscream, History, Transformers, Prime, Background Starscream, History, Transformers, Prime, Background During his time on Cybertron, Starscream lead a squadron of Energon Seekers. They traveled across space in search of Energon. Starscream, History, Transformers, Prime, Assisting Shockwave having captured RC, particularly pleased that he had captured a supposedly fast Autobot. Starscream claimed that she faced a rare opportunity and revealed his intentions for her to decode an encoded Autobot transmission for the Decepticons, assuring her that if she did so, she would die quickly. As RC stayed mute, Starscream ordered her to speak up, claiming he could not hear her as she supposedly whimpered. Following the latter's suggestion to Starscream to get fragged, he began to laugh and believed she would be more inclined to cooperate when her own well-being wasn't at stake, bringing out fellow captured Autobot Cliffjumper. As the two sat behind him, Starscream exclaimed that Cybertron was little more than a graveyard and angrily yelled at RC to give him the code. As RC insisted that she was not afraid of Ladder and downgraded him as not being Megatron, he viciously attacked her with his claw-like hands. As RC and Cliffjumper were held captive in the Decepticon prison cell, Starscream openly expressed his frustration to Soundwave. Though he wished to just eliminate the two and stop wasting his time, the code they carried was of too great importance for him to do that. As Starscream began to wish that he had a means of entering their minds, Soundwave directed him to Shockwave's base. Starscream was initially unwilling to take the prisoners to the surface, asking Soundwave rhetorically why Shockwave should be allowed all the glory. However, Starscream concluded that since he already had to deliver Energon to the latter, he may as well have sent the two his way as well. As he and the others began walking, Starscream ordered Cliffjumper to stop talking following the latter's compliments towards the look of Kaon. Starscream introduced RC and Cliffjumper to Shockwave as the latter walked into the room. He began to gloat over his accomplishments before deciding it would be best for Shockwave to have total concentration during his extraction. While the latter walked, he asked him if he was certain that he could extract the codes without damaging the Autobots' brains. As Shockwave reminded Starscream that he had invented the cortical psychic patch and knew how it worked, Starscream claimed that he knew he did. As Cliffjumper claimed he would kill both Starscream and Shockwave after RC failed to respond following being connected, Starscream ordered that he shut up as he was trying to listen to Optimus Prime's message. Optimus stated that he had arrived on Earth and was seeking help from other Autobots as well, with Starscream turning his intentions to the planet. He was defeated by Cliffjumper and RC after Shockwave departed. 